Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and if you think that my channel and my videos are helpful to your study, please subscribe, like, share, then if you have suggestion, please comment down in a comment section. Okay, for today's video, transformation by trigonometric identities, trigonometric integral, part 5. So in our part 5, here's our formula. The integral of cotangent raised to mu, cosecant raised to nu is, is where m is any number and n is even number so here's our formula or rules then let transfer d or transform let's transform the cosecant squared u into 1 plus cotangent squared u okay so uh, let's start in our example okay so our example what is the integral of cotangent to the fourth x cosecant to the fourth x dx okay like what i said we need to have a cos second squared u to transform it one plus cotangent squared u okay so to apply our rule uh, first copy the cotangent to the fourth x then copy the cosecant then squared then another cosecant squared then when we multiply the cosecant squared x then cosecant squared x we got the cosecant to the fourth x okay then here we have a cosecant squared so with that we can apply our rule which is cosecant squared u is we able to transform to one plus cot cotangent squared u okay so copy the cotangent to the fourth x then 1 plus according to the rule cotangent to the squared then our u is x then copy another cosecant squared x okay then multiply the cotangent to the fourth x into 1 plus cot cotangent squared x okay so we got the cotangent to the fourth x plus cotangent to the six x okay then copy another copy the or bring down the cosecant squared x and then okay so okay with that we can integrate then when let our u is cotangent x then the derivative of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x then uh uh, we can cancel the cosecant squared x then replace it with negative du since negative since the cosec the derivative of cotangent is negative cosecant squared x okay then multiply the negative into cotangent to the fourth we got the negative cotangent to the fourth x then negative multiply the negative into negative uh, positive cotangent to the 6x we got the negative cotangent to the 6x okay then let's integrate so using power rule or power formula we can integrate the negative cotangent to the fourth x negative cotangent to the 6x so we got negative cotangent to the pip x all over 5 minus Using power rule or power formula, cotangent 7 over 7 plus C. So now, here's our final answer. Okay? Negative cotangent to the pip x all over 5 minus cotangent uh, raised to 7 x all over 7 plus C. Then, uh, uh, if you have suggestion, please comment down below. Then, uh, please watch the transformation by trigonometric identities trigonometric integral part 1 at 2 up to part 6 okay so that's all for today see you in part 6 the last part bye bye